where we are interested um, so I copy this and then I paste it here um, reduce the table Okay, so the first hypothesis said that the parental support, peer support, significant order will positively influence students' career decision. So let us see parental support. This is parental support influence on decision. That is this part. So this is statistically significant. So I can actually add another table here. Uh, let me see if I can add a, insert another another point here. I just want to use this table here to um, explain the, the result for us. That does not mean that um, this is how you can put that. So these arrows here are showing us the, the relationship between the two variables or the influence of the other variable on the other or the impact of the other one on the other one, right? Amos shows the result left side. So if you want to report your own, you may actually report it. You may actually change this part. Uh, you may actually turn this part here and bring this part here and, and then report. So the first one said that uh, hypothesis one. So we can see parental influence on decisions. So this is uh, so the relationship is accepted or the regress the hypothesis. Let's say H1A equal to accepted or supported as you want. Then let us see hypothesis 1B supports on decisions. So peer influence on decision and is statistically significant. And this is the estimate 0 0.65. Okay. And we can say H1B equal to accepted. Okay. And let us see the hypothesis number C significant orders effect on career decision significant so we did not meet this because see zero fell between the null see this is this is this this is negative at the o and the lower band and this is positive at the upper band and so you can see the p value is not statistically significant so we can say hypothesis 1c equal to not uh, okay equal to rejected the next one we go to the hypothesis two parental support peer support on the on both so parental support on self-efficacy so we say hypothesis 2ai remember 2ai remember 2ai self-efficacy 2ai equal to oh sorry 2AI equal to, I can actually draw this so I can have a lot of time, equal to accepted. Some people use supported, so whatever you want to use. Then number two, peer support II. That is peer influence on self-efficacy, statistically significant. So I'm going to copy this, uh, 2II, okay? Oh, sorry. 2BI. Remember. 2BI. Okay. 2CI is significant order. So I'm going to paste 2CI rejected. This is rejected because the p value is above. 0 0.05 or 0 0.001 um, significant level. So we go to the next one, which is under hypothesis 2 2AII. So we come to 2AII parental support on expectations, on outcome expectations. That is this part. Parental support on outcome expectations. That is this part to this part. So Heard back here expectations. We did not find the statistically significant, so we said 2a i i. We rejected this, okay? So we do not find the evidence of such relationship 
in this population not does not that it does not exist anywhere in the world it could it can exist anywhere any other place in the world but in this particular study we do not have the evidence that um, significant other influences students self efficacy towards um, um, improving their career decision so the next part is peer influence and expect uh, an outcome expectation that is this part uh, peer influence on outcome expectation that is hypothesis b to b i i and let me also show you that part hypothesis to b i i that is this part to this part that is this line here to this line okay you can see zero point it has zero point zero zero so let us see um you can see uh, the parts oh sorry influence to expectations let us see influence to expectation oh that is 0 0.17 sorry not 0 0.00 0 0.17 so you can see that if we approximate this that will give us 0 0.17 and so hypothesis 2bii is accepted and so you see the part here which is uh part c significant order on outcome expectations that is part 2c ii so we're going to reject this because the hypothesis is not statistically significant it's going to be rejected okay so we have the last part which are the mediator parts the hypothesis 3 says that self-efficacy and outcome expectations which are 3a and 3b will predict decisions so that is the part that we have right now and so we, we have that hypothesis 3a is accepted because you can see uh, um, zero did not fall between the null and then the p-value is statistically significant and so this is the decision also uh, the expect outcome expectations predicting career decisions so this is also statistically significant sorry uh, this is this is hypothesis 3a and 3b so there is no i in it this is 3b so I'm going to have 3a and I'm going to have 3b sorry 3b hypothesis 3b okay so so you can see this is the result these are direct effects these are direct relationships but to test hypothesis number four which is this part we are going to give a command to emmers using the user defined estimates so the user defined estimate command will be used to calculate the specific indirect effect now if you go to the output 